the LG stand and I'm joined by a familiar face, George Mead. Now, unfortunately, this year, George is a little bit under the weather. And because we're nice, kind souls at AV Forums, we're going to set up a little challenge instead. George here is going to explain their entire lineup to me in less than two minutes. Oh. Well, welcome to the... Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Started yet. Ready, steady, go. Oh, go. Well, welcome to the LG stand here at CES 2013. And well, what another great CES for LG. Really, first out of the blocks in the press conference, it's all about OLED, the future display on really the future of entertainment at home. LG have announced a brand new, the second generation OLED TV coming in September with the Flamingo stand design. We've also announced a third generation OLED TV, uh, which will have the curved design, the world's first curved OLED TV. At 55 inches with a five degree angle that will be coming uh, in the in the second half of 2012 to add to the world's first OLED TV which will be announced in Q1 2013 so it's all about OLED also we've added two new screen sizes to our Ultra HD lineup to add the 84 inches already launched in the UK we're now adding a 55 and a 65 inch screen to that range and we also have announced a 100 inch laser TV it's an ultra short throw projector and it beams 100 inch of screen size from just 22 inches away. It's absolutely incredible. The smart TV platform has also been completely renewed, redesigned. You've got two new magic remotes. You've got dual core throughout the whole entire range. You've got NFC support, Miracast. There is so much in this new range, but it's going to be another busy, hectic schedule. But there's loads of great tech and uh, we're going to go and check them out. And he nailed it. <laughs> One minute, 31 seconds. George, I, I salute you, sir. <laughs> right, now we'll talk about the range in a bit more detail. <laughs> So what's the big news at CES this year? Well, of course, it's OLED. I mean, it was announced last year as well, but this year, everywhere you look, you've got OLED TVs, George, and of course, LG are bleeding them from the front with their new OLED panel. Absolutely. I mean, OLED for us is the, uh, the future of TV and home entertainment. Um, the picture quality is absolutely unrivaled. Uh, the blacker than black levels, the brightness, the contrast, the response time, it's like no other TV that can deliver this picture quality. Um, LG are committed to driving OLED forward and making uh, more screen sizes and uh, making sure that we make that reality for uh, UK homes in the future. And, you know, we already have the world's first OLED TV which is going to be uh, launching in quarter one. Obviously it has been yeah, a, I, 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 a I mentioned delay. this, uh, that you did announce it last year when we, in Monaco back in May. Clearly there's been some delays that hasn't actually been launched yet. There's, you're taking orders now for what? first quarter, second quarter? Yeah, we were, um, um, the, the, well, I know we, we originally scheduled that the TV would, would come in 2012, um, but when, like with anything, when there's a brand new technology, there's a huge amount of R&D spend that's going into it, and it's breaking into uncharted you know, territories for, for LG. Um, and the, the yield ratios is, you know, that's one of the reasons, And but we've been learning all the time. We constantly, like, um, learning through that period and now we are we're ready and uh, it will launching in uh, in Korea available for pre-order right away and in the UK it will, it will come in around um, by the first quarter, first so quarter. The, and then the second OLED TV which is exactly the same technology but with that flamingo type stand design that will be available uh, in quarter four so right. that'll be our second generation OLED TV. Although it, won't, it will be the same panel, it's just a exactly the cosmetic the design slightly different. Just a cosmetic change. Okay. Um, and, uh, and then our third generation OLED TV <laughs> um, is the one with the, the, curved, the curved design, uh, which really gives a more immersive viewing experience. And when I first saw it, I was, I was like, wow. I mean, this is for me just the most beautiful TV in the world, and uh, you know, I, to be honest with you, I, I want one. Um, I mean, is that, is that going to be launching this year as well? Absolutely, or that will be definitely launching. Yeah, in the yeah. UK? It's a all big, three, all three. And um, any rough idea on pricing? Uh, the first generation OLED TV, the quarter one, um, will be estimated at around ten thousand um, pounds, and the pricing on the second generation OLED, the EA88 model, and the EA98, which is the curved design. 
Uh, pricing is, is still to be confirmed because it's very early days. Yeah. Obviously, you know, with January, we're we're still nine months uh, at least ahead of that when that becomes a reality. But from being here at CES the last few days, you can tell by my voice I've almost lost it. Um, you can just tell that this is really the, the, the talk of the show. Well, you can just see the crowds around us. I mean, clearly, it's the place to be right now. The LG stand's absolutely buzzing with, with OLED, with ultra-high definition. I mean, if people walk in front of the camera, we apologize, but what can you do when it's just, it's just so busy? Now, people are just in awe of these OLED TVs, and it's, you know, we've been you know, desperate to bring OLED, to, and we knew that the you know, UK, and especially AV, AV Forum's um, users, love the technology, and this is going to become a reality very soon, and it's such an exciting time for, for not just for LG, but I think for the industry that there yeah. is now a TV technology that just gives the, the the best picture of plasma, the best picture of LCD, LED, all into one. That's going to get to deliver the ultimate in picture and the ultimate in design. It's just a beautiful, beautiful TV range. I mean. It's going to be a well, great year. I know from reading the forums that the guys are gnashing at the bit to get hold of these TVs. We can't wait. Q1, bring it on. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, George. Thank you.